Hi, my name is Fusun Tlan. Today I will discuss about a program which is called by Drink. This Drink is an abbreviation for Drought Indexes Calculator. This Drink Calculator can be used to calculate different types of drought. Some of the drought which is calculated by this program is um, like reconnaissance drought index, stream flow drought index, and the standard precipitation index. In one of my YouTube video, I have sh shown you how to calculate the standard precipitation index uh, using the SPI program, but this program is capable of calculating different and several droughts such as, as I have told you before, reconnaissance drought, and stream flow drought and the standard precipitation drought can be calculated by using of this um, calculator or program. So, in order to run this program, we have to have we have to prepare uh, an input data. For example, in order to calculate RDA reconnaissance drought index, we need precipitation data as well as potential evaporation, uh, potential evapotranspiration. So in order to um, calculate this reconnaissance drought index, first you have to have PET or potential evapotranspiration. So if you don't have PET and if you have temperature maximum or minimum temperature or mean temperature, you can calculate PET by using of this PET calculator. This program has another option to calculate PET. So by using of this option you can calculate PET before calculating RDA, RDI. So if you have PET as well as precipitation you can calculate RDI. If you have precipitation you can calculate SPI and the stream flow you can calculate SDI. So and the other thing we have to know is this uh, program need at least 30 years period of data so we need we need to or we have to have 30 years data and uh, the other thing so it has its own data sets or it, it has its own formats so we have to have or we have to prepare our data sets accordingly for example this is the data sets for this is for monthly and then this is for annual so you have to prepare your uh, data sets accordingly if you want to calculate monthly uh, drought indexes you have to prepare monthly data sets if you want to calculate only annual you have to prepare the data sets accordingly so if I say this much, let me show you the software. First, let's install the software. Drink. This is the setup. So double click on the setup. Yes. You have the language. Choose English or another language. So you have this windows. So click next. Then next, next, next. You can create a shortcut on desktop, check in that, then install. So it's installing, finish. So this is our drink program. So the first thing you have to do is, you have here, first you have to calculate PET if you don't have. If you don't have PET or potential evapotranspiration, you have three options, hard grease, planning cradle, you have three options by choosing all this. For example, if you have minimum and maximum temperature, you can use hard grease. If you have mean temperature, you can use average temperature, you can use planning cradle meters. So, for example, for hard grease, here you have the maximum temperature. First, you have to prepare maximum temperature as you see I have maximum temperature here I have uh, 
minimum temperature I have already prepared this minimum and the maximum temperature then um, here I have 28 years data starting from 1985 so our latitude is 0 7.8 and I'll put auto put name let me call it PET then click here you'll get PET potential you put transparency this is it is calculating PET potential vapor transpiration before calculating SDI RDI sorry before calculating reconnaissance drought index first we have to calculate PET for example let's go to documents documents this is PET so as you see from here we have calculated our PET or potential evapor transpiration so then after calculating that then go to data file management then you have you have to insert a precipitation or you have to pre provide monthly precipitation potential evapotranspiration we have already have we have already calculated the we have already calculated the potential evapotranspiration then we have also the stream flow provide the stream flow data here we have the stream flow data then here our data starts from 1985 number of years 28 then load the data sets it is loading the data sets so in order to calculate each drought indexes first we have to provide the data sets so now we are loading the data sets so then after loading go to process calculate indexes so we have different types of indexes we have the SPI we have RDI and we have SDI so you have different options for the distribution gamma distribution or log normal distribution so here give output name SPI RDI and the SDI then you have different time step or time series so let me give monthly then here click calculate so now it's calculating let's wait so the calculation is finished let's see the result as you see from here we have SPI standard precipitation index we have here monthly precipitation index standard precipitation index here we have a stream flow drought index monthly stream flow drought index and the other one is reconnaissance drought index monthly reconnaissance drought in index so if you need this is monthly time series so you can run for if you want you can run for annual click calculate then you'll get annual standard precipitation index uh, reconnaissance drought index and the um, stream flow drought index so you can use drink in order to calculate different types of drought indexes thank you for listening bye